Hi everybody, it's getting to be the time of year when a lot of us are shopping for swimsuits and I have swimsuit guides available on my website. I want to look at some swimsuits online and talk about what kind of swimsuits are appropriate for what kind of beauty and um, what are not and hopefully help you with your decision making when you go to buy a swimsuit. Buying a swimsuit is I think for a lot of women, not enjoyable. I think for a lot of us, it's stressful. We have to think about our bodies. And um, for a lot of us, that uh, involves a lot of uh, self-criticism. So um, hopefully, I'm going to tell you some stuff today that's going to help you feel not so self-critical. The first main thing I want to say is that throughout this whole video, I'm going to be focusing on suits that are appropriate for your face not your body. And this is the biggest change in thinking that women need to make. Um, I'll link in the description of the video to the first major article I wrote about why you should dress for your face and not for your body. Um, I'll just summarize by saying that your face is what everybody's looking at, even though I know you think your body is what everybody's looking at because that's what we've been trained to believe. And um, if your suit doesn't go with your face, it's not going to look right on you. So having said that, let's look at some suits on my Mod cloth. I like mod cloth because they have a lot of interesting different kinds of suits and um, differently shaped bodies also. They're not paying me to saying that. I'm just saying I like mod cloth. First thing uh, that catches my eye, I sorted by top sellers. So this is obviously a suit a lot of people like. A woman who's going to look beautiful in this particular suit. Let's zoom in on it. I'm not zoom. A woman that's going to look beautiful in this particular suit uh, is going to have some element of classic to her beauty. When you look at this suit, one of the first things you notice is the silhouette is kind of a timeless silhouette. It may even read as a little 50s. Uh, so that tells me that a woman with um, symmetrical, balanced beauty in her face is going to be flattered by this. But she should also have a little bit of a gaming quality, a uh, spark, a mischievous quality, and finally a little bit of romantic too, which is that traditional uh, womanly beauty in the face. And I'll put links in the description of this video for those different style types. But this suit's going to be great for a woman that is a romantic, classic gammy. Let's scroll down a little bit and look at some more. Oh, actually, here's a really similar suit that would be great for a romantic, classic ingenue. The only big difference here, looking at this one, is the pattern. The pattern here, instead of being fun and playful, is um, more sweet and cute and in a more feminine way. So uh, if you have a lot of romantic, classic, and ingenue to your beauty, this would be the suit for you. If you're wondering why I think both of these suits are good with women who have some romantic quality, it's because of the bust emphasis. When suits draw attention to the bust line, that's going to look best on a woman who has a romantic beauty, regardless of whether she has a big or a small bust. If she's got a romantic quality to her beauty and her bust is enormous, the suit will look great on her. Same if her bust is tiny. And if she doesn't have that romantic quality to her beauty, a suit that emphasizes the bust is not going to look appropriate. Let's keep going a little bit. Maybe we'll see a two-piece to talk. Oh, this is interesting. Over, Let's look at this one. So, wow. Uh, I'm actually going to click on this one and see if I can get a bigger picture of it. Sometimes when I'm looking at a suit, I scroll so that I can't see the model's face. And that's because I don't want to be distracted by the particular type of beauty the model has. She may or may not fit the suit, and I may find myself um, thinking that the suit is right for me when what I'm responding to is her particular beauty. This long, narrow silhouette and how it goes all the way up to the neck reads to me as dramatic, which is a kind of intense, intimidating, unusual beauty. And then this pattern in the foreground uh, is it more romantic or more natural? A pattern that has like gorgeous lush flowers in bloom would definitely be romantic. This pattern, I think, leans a bit toward natural. It's less big, round, blooming, luscious flowers and more uh, leaves and vines. And those kind of patterns tend to be natural rather than romantic. The color scheme of these flowers, though, is... Uh, pale and pretty for the most part. 
instead of an ingenue effect or an ethereal effect. A pale color scheme can go either way, so I would recommend the suit for a woman with a lot of dramatic, but either some ethereal influence or some ingenue influence as well. And also a natural quality to reflect this freewheeling, nature-embracing print. Ethereals can be tough to find suits for, but some of the things you want to look for in a suit if you're an ethereal is an overall um, pale or a sunrise color scheme uh, or sunset color scheme. Um, a, a very gentle gradation of several analogous colors, a pattern that's abstract in a gentle way, not an aggressive way. Um, sheer panels, if the sheerness reads as uh, interesting or even mystical rather than intentionally sexy. Um, anything that creates kind of like a winged effect. That stuff can be difficult to find, but not impossible. This is a really interesting suit to me, this one right here, because it combines these sweet, adorable flowers which say ingenue, girlish beauty, with a silhouette that is very dramatic. This is an avant-garde silhouette. This is the cut of this bathing suit is one that when you come out in it, your friends are like, oh my gosh, you got that suit, wow. So you've got girlish sweetness, and then you've got this kind of aggressive intensity. So this is going to be a good suit for somebody with a lot of dramatic and a lot of ingenue. That combination actually is pretty rare. You don't see a lot of women who both have sweet girlish beauty and also intense aggressive beauty going on at the same time in their face. If you are a gammy ingenue with maybe a little touch of dramatic, I think you could pull this off too. Wow, you don't often see a suit that's like a pure type, but this is close to being a pure gammy suit. It's a two-piece, but in a sporty way rather than a sexy way. It has a vivid color scheme. It's got a cutout in the front there that reads to me as fun, not as sexy or shocking. It's got a high neck. These kinds of lines on a top, this sort of crop top where you get a lot of shoulder and it comes up around the neck tends to be gaming. I think this particular pattern is tasteful and symmetrical and that adds a bit of classic but I would pick this suit for a woman with a lot of gaming and a little bit of classic. I think she'd look great in that. Suits with an iridescent quality can feel ethereal. So even though overall these polka dots are joyful and playful, the, it's, you've got a little touch of ethereal in the shimmery gold. Uh, this is a suit with a traditional outline and a very sexy bust emphasis. So that's going to make it appropriate for women with a lot of classic and women with a lot of romantic. If we just change the pattern of the suit, it's going to be appropriate for different women. So now um, this little gingham effect reads as ingenue. So it's still sexy and traditional. In other words, romantic and classic, but it's got a little bit of ingenue in there too. Now I'm on Everything But Water, which is also a site with a lot of fun bathing suits. And here's a really interesting suit. This plunging V, especially the way it ends in a point, is going to feel dramatic. And the cute little bow in the front adds a little touch of girlishness that's ingenue. But I think this suit has ethereal as well. And ethereal suits can be difficult to find. Here's why I'm saying that. Gathers often feel sexy, and when they do, that's romantic. One of the main reasons we gather fabric is to emphasize the curves of the body. But here, the gathers uh, don't serve that purpose. They're an interesting detail, but they're not designed to emphasize the bust or any other part. And that, to me, has a more ethereal feel. I think the overall elongated look of this suit gives it that quality as well. So I would recommend this suit for somebody with a lot of dramatic and a little ingenue and some ethereal, too. That would be an unusual combination, but they are out there. This is an example of how a color scheme can be ethereal. These colors are adjacent to each other in the color wheel. Blue and blue-green on one side, and then bluish-purple and purple and violet on the other side. And on the suit, they're gently blending into each other. 
that's an ethereal use of color right here. This pattern, this, these sort of stylized leaves, is a natural pattern. And I would say this suit, uh, overall, the style of it is natural. Unless you're really big busted, I don't think this suit is going to emphasize your chest. So I wouldn't say it has a romantic quality. It looks like a practical suit that you wear to swim in, and that's natural, with the ethereal element in the color. So this would be a great suit for an ethereal natural. I'm an ethereal natural, interestingly, so I feel like I need to go try this suit now. All right. What an adorable romantic ingenue suit, perhaps with a little classic. Oh my gosh, the color scheme is so sweet and pretty. At the same time, you've got bust emphasis up here, this sweetheart neckline inviting somebody to notice your bust line. And with the silhouette being this sort of traditional 50s-ish silhouette, romantic classic ingenue. Looking at this model, she's not a romantic classic ingenue, so just imagine this suit on a woman whose beauty is womanly and mature, but at the same time it has a sweet girlish quality, and then there's kind of a dignity too and a symmetry. If that's your beauty, romantic classic ingenue, this is an adorable suit for you. Mostly, I think, ingenue, because what really jumps out is the color scheme and the, and the uh, pattern. If you're thinking, I love those cute flowers, but aren't they a little wild for ingenue? I would say, yeah. That pattern up along the bus line is more traditional ingenue, and here with the flowers given free reign to run all over the place, it starts to feel a little uh, natural, actually, but that's a small influence. This suit has interesting stuff going on. It is plungy. Holy moly. It is going to make a statement. That is dramatic. It's shimmery, which is probably going to feel ethereal. This bright color to me feels more gammy than dramatic. It's intense, but it feels more, I would say, fun. So ethereal for sure, dramatic for sure, perhaps some gammy. If you want to learn more about dressing for your face instead of your body, which all of us need to be doing, click on the link in the description of the video. And if you want to see swimsuit guides that I have for each of the 63 combination types, head on over to my website, www.truthisbeauty.com. When you buy a swimwear guide, it has pictures like these and lists of all the kind of stuff you want to look for. So for example, if you're a gamine, it's going to say, look for piping. Look for tiny little cutouts. Look for mix and match two pieces. Look for necklines that come up all the way to your neck. The guides are mm, four to six pages long and pretty affordable. Now's a pretty good time to get one if you're thinking about swimsuit season. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please share it with somebody if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.